All right. Howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Borderlands 3. Currently level four. Ooh, I'll show you my skill tree real quick. Almost done with that. Skill tree. So, uh, green maxed out all the way down to this. Skill we're going for is fade away. Uh, when I turn, I use my skill. I turn invisible. I fire a few shots that uh, are guaranteed to crit. One sec. I just, my headset beeped at me. That's dying, so I got to plug it in. But I fire a few shots that are guaranteed to crit. I also get move speed, health regen, and the crit damage is increased. You go this one. Um, so my crit damage gets reduced, but uh, every shot crits instead of just three. So now it's for five seconds, every shot crits. And then this one... Um, Successive hits on the same target increase the critical damage. So the more I hit a target, the more I crit for. And then this, I get more damage when I activate my gun skill. It's doubled if I'm at full health. Uh, nothing in uh, purple. I'm not going to put anything in purple. I haven't gotten to blue yet. But right now we're going through orange because we, uh, we go all the way down to orange too. Because it gives me a crit chance against any part of a body and not just their weak spot. That's what I got so far. My weapons aren't really all that good, so I wouldn't worry too much about them. This SMG sucks, but I'm using it because I need to get kills with uh, Hyperion weapons. And then... Alright. Sweet. Take out all the guardians. <laughs> We're on Necro to fail. We're doing the machine. Uh, I did the one for the Pandora vault. Or, I think that's the first one. I did the one for the Vault on Pandora just because it pushed me over to level 40, and yeah. So now we're moving on to the next one, which is Eden 6. You might have heard Typhon talk about it whenever I first spawned in. But yeah, we'll just keep on trucking. Should be almost to it. Let's see. How close am I? Four more. Okay. I'm gonna go over here real quick just because chest. Nothing worthwhile. Two of them. Three. Four. Sweet. So I got my. Those ones. Red chest, psychos, Goliaths, Necrobugs. Pistols, I guess? Oh, I got rid of my other SMG. Not really a big fan of this pistol either.
Okay. Hopefully I get some better guns. Not really liking these. My SMG and my pistol both kind of shit. I feel like I should have been on that. Alright, red chest. Ooh, a legendary. Front loader. Let's see. Yeah, I'll use it for now. Actually, no, I won't. I don't like the losing my max health part of it. It wouldn't be that big of a deal if I could like regen that health, but I can't, so. Wow, okay. Wow, this pistol really, really sucks. Yeah, I like desperately need to get a better pistol. The fact that it's a torg that does like no damage is wild. Even this thing is better than that.
I might use the Uridian cannon thing. Just to try and get a better... Like, I've, I've not even gotten that many kills with it. Okay. Here we go. This would be better. There we go. Now I do some damage. I've put two into here, I need to put five. So put two more. Now put two more. Much, much easier to kill people now. See so yeah, how many how many are we at now? Yep. Okay. Kill some more people. That's where he died. Oh. Yeah, this is this is way easier. Let's see. Um just much better damage. Same weapon plus weapon damage, crit chance, reloads. Yeah, so it's just way better than the one I have. Okay.
Okay. Man. Who would have thought it's a lot easier to get kills with pistols whenever you have a actually good pistol? I don't think it would die that fast. Actually, let me get a let me get a picture with the uh, with the machine. Snipping tool. New. I think it's ten. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go. I get a little bit of move speed from popping this, so I might as well. Chest right here as well. Yeah, nothing good. Okay. Oh, is that a loot tank? I didn't even notice. Star Helix. Okay. I didn't realize it was a loot tank. I just kind of blew it up. Um. I don't have. Oh, Rack Attack. Nope. Do I want to use this instead of Lucian's Call? Yeah, just because my Lucian's Call is under-leveled at this point. I mean, it still does damage, but everything I do does damage. That's Lilith over there. Ooh, legendary. Eh, I'll sell it though.
No legendary there. I'll oh, skip it. Uh, she kills Typhon. Okay. Let's go find her. This is going to be an easy fight, honestly. You got it. Ow. Ow. This is super, super difficult. Yeah, I'm a little bit uh, overstated for this. <laughs> I'll watch this one. Ooh, Lucian's call. <laughs> oh. I will watch this cutscene just because it's like the final one, so. I'm a little bit overstated. Ah, I'm just gonna sell them all anyways, but I'll use the money.
they're over here. Okay. Let's take a look at these real quick. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh. Riot one. Get rid of that. Not the butcher. Boring gun. Get rid of that. Okay. You wanna is it gonna skip the credits? Okay. That is the end of the story though for Borderlands 3. I still got a lot to do, but story wise, that's it. Now we start I mean we can turn on mayhem modes so that way we get more XP, better loot and everything like that. And then go back, do all the side quests. It's going to be a lot of episodes in this series. Uh, but side quests and DLC. And then eventually hit Mayhem 11 on this. Yeah, cool. I, I got it. Just open up the chest.
Eat. Shitty, but. Okay, so. Now. I have mayhem mode. Which is this one. So. It goes all the way up to 11, and each step gives you... The enemies have health, shields, and armor additional, but you get bonus XP, money, and iridium, and then loot. And it goes insane. And up until 10, you get different modifiers. You can re-roll the modifiers, but up until 10, you get different modifiers. And then at 11, it just gets rid of the modifiers. But, so we're going to start at 2. Easier crits... Yeah, I'm cool with that. And now we go do... And now it takes all of the l missions and it sets them at my level. So I don't have to be like, oh, I did this... Or this mission is from like the drought. So it's like way under level. Now they're all at my level. So now, except for these two. But now... Let's finish this one. There we go. Story campaign complete. Uh, put another one in there. So now that's maxed out and that's there So next up is I skipped this one all together and then I maxed both of these so I'll gain Hunter skills and hunter kill skills so Let us go, you know Badass and Psychos. Where's, um... There we go. I'm gonna do one run through Ultraviolet. And I'll do some other quests. Sweet. So this is one of the DLCs. It's the Iridian crew that wants to kill Maurice. Yada yada yada. Blah blah blah. A whole bunch of story. Basically, I kill him all now. Now we're getting some enemies that aren't, you know, getting one shot by everything I have. switch to shock for now because fire does less damage against armor I think so this keeps my damage up
Another thing I forgot to mention, uh, on Mayhem mode, you'll get you'll get weapons, like how it says Mayhem level 2. So your weapons also get better, so you get... It's one of those things where it's like, you're supposed to like, progressively go higher and higher. Because you get weapons from like, Mayhem 2, which are strong enough to get you through Mayhem 3. Rat Commander, I'm not super... Not quite what I want, but we'll take it. Hopefully we can get some more ammo. There we go. Cool. And then for this, there are all these piles around that are just full of iridium. So you kill them, or you destroy the pile, shoot it melee, it doesn't matter. Which way does it have me go? Up. Okay, so we're gonna go down first. There's three there's three ways that you can go that because uh, you have to find a golden mass. There's three ways you, that you can go. There's two that are downstairs and there's one that's upstairs. And it'll tell you which one you need to go. You can go the other way. Or the other ways. And it will let you kill more enemies. So you get to kill more enemies, and there's also mini bosses that you can kill, or they call them under bosses, I guess. But there's under bosses that you can kill as well. So get some better loot, get some more loot, more experience. The whole nine. Yeah, you just keep on running through. There is also for each of the these ones, there are these challenges that you can do. So defeat the final boss, defeat him in mayhem, and all these different challenges that give you different stuff. So skin, weapon skin, room decoration, yada yada. I don't know how it works if I already have them. But we'll figure it out eventually. So that was one of the underbosses, named the Tenderizer. There's six, I want to say. And every way you go to find, uh, oh, grease trap. That's actually not good on flak, but but every way you go, that would find the golden psycho mask. You're going to encounter underbosses. There we go. 
That's... So this thing right here is one of the places where the golden mask can spawn. Obviously it's not here. There are also three golden toilets around the map. And there's a challenge to get all three of them in one run as well. How am I doing on the pistol kills? 30 more. Okay. I should be able to get that. This is the other way that is down. But where I showed you there, that was one of the golden toilets. The second one is also downstairs. But, oh, you go all the way down into the basement. In the basement, there is this little bathroom. Another golden toilet. Oh, it's probably the guys above me that I'm hearing, but. More stuff you can smash for iridium. Another one of the underbosses is always right here. Voila. Alchemist. Sleeping giant. And then in here, these chests. And then this is one of the other places that the mask can spawn. Obviously, again, it's not here because mine was in mine was upstairs and I went down. Uh, but let's see. So that, so that. I'm gonna sell that actually. I'll put the sleeping giant on instead of that because this thing sucks. Alchemist. So. Mm, nah. Nah. Okay. But there is two ways to get to here. You can either go down through the basement like I was or just out the back door. So I always, I'll go one way and then go back the other. Again. And then you can go back through this little patio area. Skill point. Um do three into here first. Sweet. 
So now we've explored the two downstairs ones. So now we're going to go upstairs and actually get what we're looking for. Let's see if there's anything. Nope. Okay. Alright. Oh. And then this is also where the third golden toilet is. And then you can see, finally use all gold and toilets before you leave. Awesome. Just keep on killing. There's like a few waves that come down. Come out of the walls and stuff. Which, if that was Joey Ultraviolet and this is my mansion, I'd be pretty upset if my guys kept destroying all my walls. And then there's the other underboss that will face up here. Cool. Already on. Ooh. Okay. So this has. A lot of these iridium piles has some chests. And then also this keyboard, if you push it, it pops up with this. This is a puzzle that relates to these right here so that you can see there's the, the triangle, there's the square and there's the circle. So that's the column where the artifact is. So there, there and there relates to what numbers you need for the puzzle. So it would be one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. So this one is one, four, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. So four, five, and nine. So circle, like I said, there is nine. So nine, four, nine, eight. Then you come, where is it? Over here, yeah. Oh shit, wait, what did I get wrong? Oh, am I not allowed to do it again? You only get one shot? Okay, I did it wrong, but it opens up this and there's some loot back there that you can get. And now I'm sad. Okay, well, I don't know what I did wrong with it, but I did some wrong. <laughs> okay. Mm. I can't want to kill three more psychos. Oh my goodness, my game lagged so much with that shot. But I don't need use pistols anymore. You can also come up here. There's a little room up here. There's always someone that pops out of this wall. There we go. And then there's just some loot and some more iridium piles. back down put the mask right there and then we're good to go <laughs> uh, 
come down these stairs. Oh no! And then there's Joey Ultraviolet. <laughs> With a big head. So he'll... He'll always send down one of his underbosses. You get rid of their shield and then they will go back up. He sends down another underboss. Like I said, there's six, and you'll face all six of them if you just go everywhere on the map. Because there's one to get in the mansion, the three around the place, and then the two with Joey. And now that he's down, we have to kill the underbosses before we can damage him. So... Kill the underbosses, and now he is vulnerable. He's tanky, but he is vulnerable. He is a raid boss, after all. Do I have anything that's corrosive? I'll do this one for now. I don't. What, what gun did he drop? Uh, yellow cake, okay. So there is a challenge to beat him without stepping in any of his traps, like the acid or the lasers, which I won't be able to get this run through because I just stepped in them. Well, got his armor off, so now it's his health. And he'll do that every once in a while where he gets big and restores some health, but... After you deal some damage, he gets small again. Eventually. Got back small, so he takes more damage now. And then you kill him. And then around the map with him, there are a few iridium piles as well that you can get. Voila. Dropped a fish slap, which I don't really want, but... And then you come down here, and there is these three chests as well, which mine are all absolute trash. But that's how you get through Villa Ultraviolet. And then all you do is you just talk to Maurice. You talk to Maurice. There we go. Come on. Sweet. 
And then if you want to go back, you have to accept the quest again because you have to get the coordinates. Which doesn't make sense because you already have the coordinates, but you have to get them so that you can get into the area. Yeah, I don't really want to yellow cake. Yeah, that's how you do cartels. Oh, what the hell? I didn't even... I did not even know this was down here. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking that I had everything done on Zane, and I didn't even realize there was an entire other tab of stuff you can buy. Now I bought everything. Okay, let's see what Marcus is vending machines have damn I gotta go on my Zane build and buy everything nothing good so all that nothing good Okay, we'll do one more quest and then call it there for today. Um, we'll do this one, just because it's here. I think it's up. I have to, yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to 100% every zone I can, so. I don't have any anointed stuff. I didn't get all my iridium back from the slot, but I don't ever win all that much, so. What do we want to do? How does he get back there? Don't 
Do I have to talk to him? Okay. Sweet. So. Yeah, I'll run it. Fuck it. Sweet. I'm going to call it there for today. Uh, we got all the way through, or we finished up the campaign so now it's going through mayhem and doing all the side quests because as of right now the galaxy is i'm only a third of the way through there so i still got to get everything done on pandora i got to go to all the dlcs i'm actually less than a third of the way because whenever you do all the dlcs it has more than 100 percent but uh that's gonna be it for today if you like the video like subscribe uh let me know what i should play next or if you want me to try any other build peace